Hello everybody, I'm G2G and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to make a banish command or a ban command if you'd like to say it that way. To get started we need to execute, we need to set a new executor of our new command and it's going to be banish and over here admin banish command. And since we did not create that yet we have to create it over here and what we want to do of course is always change this to sender command short cmd and over here the label and in the last place the args and what i want to do is i want to do a slash banish and then a player name and of course you can also specify a reset but that's the challenge for today's video is to find out how to specify a reason so what we are going to do is we are going to check if uh, args dot length is one since we only want uh, the player as an argument no message or time limit and um, what we want to do is actually quite simple because you can do it in one line bucket dot get ban list and it's gonna ask for a type so we're gonna do ban list dot type and what you can do is you can ban according to name and ban according to IP and I'm gonna ban according to name and then of course add ban and string is going to be the name it's going to be args zero it's going to be the first argument the second string is going to be the reason that you banned somebody and i'm just going to do a valid reason because i'm going to ban myself and i need a valid reason and it's going to be you are too awesome of course you are too awesome and what we want to do over here is specify a time and over here uh, we just can put null so let's say i want to specify a time of one hour so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new date variable and I'm gonna do that inside of here actually so it's gonna be new date and then what we want to do is we want to get system dot get cur dot get uh, the current I mean the current time millis and what we want to add to that because that's like the milliseconds what we want to add is an hour 60 60 times a thousand and that will actually ban the player yeah for an hour java.util.date and then we just need to finish up the sentence and if you use this you might have seen that uh, it does not kick the player it only bans the player so what we also gonna do is we are going to kick the player and first I want to check because you can only kick online players get offline player arc0 if uh, the player is online you can do that by getting the offline player and then getting the player it's a bit weird but this will return null if the player is not online and you can also just do bucket .get player but this is a little more safe and what I want to do over here is I want to do bucket .get player uh, because that will now yeah not return an error and what we want to do string name is going to be arc0 again and then what we want to do is kick player and over here a uh, reason and it's the same you are too awesome and that's actually it you can also ban according to IP and what you want to do then is uh, instead of here use IP and of course here you should put the IP and that's gonna be it for the coding part it's really easy and of course do not forget to return true uh, return true since otherwise your plugin won't work and do not forget to uh, register it in the plugin.yml as well let's go and check this out on the server see you over there so we're inside Microsoft now start up the server and let's go take a look at our slash banish command and I'm just gonna autocomplete with tab and I press enter and if you can see connection is lost you are too awesome back to server list and as you you can't see the current time but it's 10 before 8 so if I click over here you'll see that it banned me till 10 before 9 and that's gonna be it don't forget to make an unban command as well and do not uh, ban yourself because I now have to go into the server files and unban myself it's really easy uh, just go into the banned players.json or banned ips.json and remove it you can even keep the server running just reload it or nah, never reload the server stop and start it again and it'll all be fine 
That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section, you uh, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to our Discord channel which you can ask questions or just general chat or whatever you like as long as it's not offensive. Thanks for watching. See you next time.